Eloise Renoff is an artist, designer, and illustrator living and working in England. The things that she creates are decorative, yet simple, colorful, but thoughtful, inspired by the outside, rethought on the inside. Today, you will learn about line so that you can use curved lines, straight lines, wavy lines, or zigzag lines to create tree trunks and branches that have character. Let's get started. You will need your construction paper, scissors, glue, and a black marker. The first thing you need to do is to select two colors, one for the sky and one for the land. I'm folding the land paper in half horizontally, and now I'm cutting it out. That's going to be the land, and the purple is the sky. So I'm gluing the land piece to the sky. This is my background. Sky land. Get your construction paper. If you have any other interesting printed papers at home that you want to add to this project, make sure you have permission to use the paper. Adding additional printed papers will add a nice effect to this project. I'm cutting different tree shapes out of different colors of paper. I want all of my shapes to be different and unique so that every tree has a personality. Some of my shapes are geometric and others are more organic. I'm cutting out a lot of tree shapes because I want to make a forest. That means the trees are going to overlap. This one's a triangle because it's going to be a pine tree. All of your tree shapes don't have to be fall colors. Pick an interesting selection of colors. Depending on the size of your trees, I want you to cut out at least six different trees so that you can overlap them. I'm making sure that all of my tree shapes fit on my background paper. Let's see, how many trees did I cut out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 